Hey there friends, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we uh, woke up and discovered that we had a water leak in our kitchen floor and it was coming from behind the refrigerator and so I slid this uh, refrigerator out today and uh, had to do a lot of cleaning. Been a while since I moved it out so I had to get all this cleaned up before I filmed this video but our culprit was our uh, water line coming uh, up from the floor up to our refrigerator for our ice maker. Now our ice maker has been uh, broken for several years now and I've just been using ice trays so I'm actually going to disconnect this today. Okay, I'll show you how we do that and there's not a shutoff valve um, in this line so I'm going to install one and actually mount it up here on the wall somewhere so in case I ever get another refrigerator or get an ice maker we'll be able to quickly just hook it right back up. So stay tuned folks. Okay friends, now that we've got this thing uh, all cleaned up with all the waters up and you notice we, we had the fans sitting up, we actually let them run for several hours because some of the water probably got underneath this set of cabinets. So I wanted to make sure I dried up as much as I could and also let the fan run to help dry out anything. So folks, we've got two wrenches here. We've got a 7 16 and a uh, half inch and what we're going to do this compression fitting this here it's got copper on one side plastic on the other I'm holding the uh, 7 16 in the center and I'm going to back off on this side here and we're going to pull this uh, pull this compression fitting apart here now I have cut the water off so and we drained the line so we shouldn't have a whole lot of water coming out of here so we're going to disconnect it here at the wall we're going to do the same on the uh, refrigerator side of it and then we're going to hook up a new um, compression fitting with a shutoff valve and I'll show you how we get that done. Okay friends, hey we got all our parts here, all our new parts that we're going to install. We've got a uh, shutoff valve here, we got about a 12 inch piece of uh, uh, quarter inch line. Uh, I got a little clip here that I'm going to use to after we get it all hooked up to kind of hold it up against the wall to kind of keep it out of the way from running over it with the uh, refrigerator. We got some com compression nuts here with ferrules. So let's go ahead and start putting this thing together. So first of all, we've already got our little insert installed into our piece of cool wrench line here. We've got a compression nut and it also has the uh, ferrule already installed in here. So go ahead and shove it in and, it, and it'll go in about a quarter inch. Keep the line pushed up tight and go ahead and snug it down by hand. Take your uh, half inch wrench and your 7 16 wrench to hold the body of the um, valve and just uh, go ahead and tighten it down a little bit. Don't over tighten anything. But we do want to get it tight enough where it does not leak. So let's just tighten it up a little bit more. And that ought to be good. Okay. Now, this end here will leave open. Okay, this will be our shut off. So we'll just go ahead and take. Uh, We'll take one of these nuts here with the little ferrule in and we'll just run it on here finger tight and uh, maybe we'll just tighten it up just a little bit so it stays in place. Now this will be where we hook up if we ever do decide to hook up another ice maker. We'll be able to just pull this off, hook another piece of the uh, longer piece of the quarter inch line up and go ahead and hook it up to our refrigerator. Okay on the other end here folks as you can see um, let's go ahead and install our uh, little piece of uh, our little insert here. It gives it a little bit more stability. Wait a minute, first of all, let's see, make sure I can get this over. No, I can't. Hang on. Get a little ahead of myself. Go ahead and take your compression nut with the ferrule, push it on the line. Take your little insert, push it in here, push it down in the line flush, okay? So now, folks, this is what we're going to reinstall to the uh, over there at the wall so I can get it where y'all can see what I got here okay so we're gonna take this over we're gonna go ahead and install it to that compression fitting that's uh, down near the floor tighten everything down and then we will uh, put this little clip on it we'll put that on there and then we'll cut the water on and check it for leaks Okay friends, we've got our piece of uh, line here. We're back in here at the floor getting ready to reattach it. So same thing as before. Shove the uh, line inside the compression fitting there. It goes in about a quarter inch. 
and go ahead and take your uh, compression nut, tighten it down hand tight, grab your 7 16 wrench and your half inch wrench and go ahead and snug this sucker down. Okay, now it's time to go uh, cut the water on and check for leaks. Okay friends, we've already cut the water back on and uh, we had a little small leak here at the compression fit and I just had to cut the, turn the uh, valve in a little bit tighter. So let's take this little uh, clip here that I was telling you about and we're just gonna take a Phillips head screwdriver and just run it into the sheetrock. And this should work pretty good just to hold this thing up against the wall to where uh, it don't end up on the floor and we don't end up uh, running over it with the uh, refrigerator so folks that's about all we're gonna do this thing today kind of an easy fix uh, so we got this knocked out and if we ever decide to uh, hook up another um, uh, ice maker. We'll ha we'll already have our shutoff valve here, and all we got to do is loosen this, take the compression nut off of there, hook our line up, and we'll be set to go. So, folks, thank you for watching the video today. Hope this helps a little bit, and we'll see you next time. Take care.